In the making is Singapore's next generation national broadband network. Laying the foundation of this network is OpenNet. OpenNet will commence installation by leveraging on existing duct and infrastructure network. The scope of works imposes little inconvenience on public, while promising both a robust and resilient network. Nine central offices will dot the island, ensuring the highest coverage possible. But how will this next-generation broadband network eventually reach you? First of all, if you're a building developer or owner, OpenNet will need to access your MDF rooms and telecom risers to install the optical cable. A letter of notice will be sent to seek your permission. No cost is incurred at this juncture. The building owner can opt not to allow access to OpenNet, in which case, if the building owner chooses to do so later, there will be delays and additional fees charged. For residential high-rise units, fibre cables from the central office will be linked to the indoor or outdoor cabinet. From the cabinet, fibre cables run underground to a distribution point or IDP. The cable runs to each floor which houses a fibre distribution point or FDP. The FDP then connects a cable, usually along the corridor, into each home, ending at a termination point. For landed property dwellers, a similar network architecture concept is used. Although connection zones differ, instead of a telephone riser, the FDP is found in the manhole. Upon his approval, it then runs into the owner's premise using underground ducting and a lead-in pipe, which ends at a termination point inside. For premises which choose to be excluded, no fibre cable will be installed in the unit for now. However, a fibre cable will remain on standby, either in an enclosure at the manhole, near the landed house, or coiled up in the telephone riser for residential high-rise buildings. This is in the event that the owner wishes to be included later on. For commercial buildings, the network architecture is based on the microtubes system, which is proven, more efficient and cost-effective. For tenants who want to tap on the next-generation broadband network, a microtube will be extended to the tenant's office. The optical fibre is then blown through the microtubes to the tenant's location. We come now to the home reach stage where the fibre cable is now extended into the home unit. An initial letter of offer will be sent to homeowners at least three weeks before installation. When they sign up with OpenNet during this period, the optical point will be installed for free in their houses, as long as the total wiring run used is 15 meters or less. However, if we do not receive a response from homeowners within three weeks of the date of offer, the initial offer will lapse. They may opt out of this initial offer by signing an acknowledgement form. In future, should they request for installation, they will be charged according to designated rates. OpenNet, bringing Singapore's next-generation broadband network closer to you.